Hello, people. How's it going? Happy Turkey Day to any of the U.S. people who are celebrating Turkey Day. Yeah, I've got my foundation and some concealer on. And this bit over here with the hair, it was standing up like all over the place because when I sleep on my side, it's this side. And I tried to convince it to lay down and so now I've combed it and futzed with it a little. And since the back, it gets all fluffy when I lay on my back to sleep. I'm calling it a yeah, yeah. We'll we'll call it deliberate. Uh, the husband says I sound I've sounded a little kind of down the last couple of films, so I'm going to try to be perky. Don't hold your hopes up. Oh, I'm going to also try to make sure I don't leave you guys listening to too many sniffles and snuffles. We don't have a real big turkey day going on. My chosen family sister may come over. We still haven't heard from her yet. She just may take some time off to like sit on her own at home since normally she's got her grandchildren while her daughter works and The kids are not going to be there today. And she's going, the house is quiet. Maybe I'll just stay in the quiet house. So we'll see what happens. I've also got a lot more of the stuff that I intend to use up on the desktop so you're not going to see quite so much of this thing because it that's boring seriously boring anyway i just i yanked a couple of palettes out yanked a foundation yanked out a primer and da 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 da, da. and i'm just going to play I have no idea where I'm going. That's actually kind of standard, but I don't have a plan for a particular color scheme. So we will have to see how this goes. Oh, excuse me. Breakfast is speaking back. Which is like really rude considering that was over a while ago. I've got the um, Nikki two sided palette that she did with, what was it, BH Cosmetics, I think. And I've got an old C color palette. I think it's the last one I still have. Well, that and my little face palette here. This one's called Diamond, and it's pretty much all shimmers, so. Anyway, let's see where we go. Let's start. Got kind of a pale, pale, pale pumpkin. Well, it's kind of like the baked top of a pumpkin pie. We'll just get started here. It's a bit more pink on the skin. 
The other thing, that, the one thing that I really don't like about this, this compact from Nikki is that it's got a lot of kick up, which is really annoying. Which is why I didn't finish doing anything with the rest of the face because if I've got to take it off putting a little foundation back on is not going to be as bad as having to do the whole thing and yeah I'm still doing the wrong eye first likely that'll be permanent and we'll all just have to get over it This is actually turning out to be a really pretty color. Just no extra product, just take the fluffy brush and do the edges a little. My husband doesn't like the quote-unquote pregnant pauses either because there are very often times where I just don't say anything and it's like, come on woman, talk to us. And part of that is the issues I have talking to people anyway and yeah I'm doing this but I have trouble talking to people you figure that one out I'm not going to manage to figure it out I haven't ever figured it out yet I don't see it happening anytime soon Now, there's another brown in this. It's called 5 a.m. And it's like, we're looking at O-Dark 30 here. Or as I've been calling it for quite some time now, Ass O'Clock. Because nobody wants to be up this, uh, that, 5.30 if they don't gotta. So it's like ass o'clock. Doop, doop, doop. That's interesting. So far so good. Just darken up the outside corner a little bit. That actually looks pretty good. Got to deal with my divot. here so they're about the same intensity lift this up just a little more drag it into the crease just a little more there I think those are pretty close. It's, you know, 
it's a heck of a thing trying to do this without being able to completely see what you're doing. It's been rainy. It's not fun. Now, let us see what I'm going to attempt to put on the main part of the lid. I may go back and put a, dab a little other color into into the center once I get the main stuff done on the rest of the lid. Now this is some elf glitter glue and even though it's got like an applicator thing I have a tendency to prefer a brush just because a it doesn't get all over the the top of the applicator or at least not too much But B, it's the brush is easier to control. Because the last thing I want at this point is going to be the sparkly stuff running down into my face while I'm trying to eat dinner. Now, I'm not doing turkey. I know, it's supposed to be turkey day. I'm not doing tur- well, I do have a little turkey. I have a little bit of turkey. There's a Native American dish called Three Sisters which is um, squash, corn, and beans because of the way they, they grow with the corn in for the beans to climb up. And between the beans and the corn, it keeps the pump, they squash from being too much in the sun and overheating and drying out. And I make that and there's since you use whatever protein that you have to hand I use I use a smoked turkey leg this time. <clears throat> so there's some turkey in it. Just not lots of turkey in it. See, I had this little problem with the standard Thanksgiving it's like some of my relations came over on the ships some of my relations were standing on the shore Going, well, there goes the neighborhood. And they're going, who dat? 
And then they went and helped them out and kept them from starving to death and showed them how to do things in an area that they had no clue about. So the natives did all, all kinds of wonderful things when they hadn't been pissed off or just wasn't, weren't big on having people coming in that thought they could take over stuff like the land which is how we ended up with the first big land swindle in the U.S. being the Manhats selling a chunk of New York to some of the first arrivals. And it's like natives don't look at holding land that way. But the Manhats were selling off because of they, they were being offered all kinds of pretty trinkets. Problem was, what they sold off, supposedly sold off, was the Lapani tribe's usual hunting area. Yeah. Definitely a land swindle. And I'm like, guys, could we not? I'm going to put just a little more of this on that side. trying to keep from it getting lost in the rest of this. Now, that shimmer looks pretty good. Pretty good. Beg your pardon. Now, I really like the pale shimmer going towards the inside area here, but I want to darken up through here just a little bit. And I'm trying to see if I've got something that's got enough of a brownish tint to really do it. I'm thinking, I've got one in here that's called Stone. It's got a bit of hint of red to it, but I think this may be a good match for what I'm doing. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yeah, now I'm not going to go in, maybe I won't go in, with my finger on it. Because I don't really want it to be really thick. I just want it to be kind of something to transition between the matte brown and the glitz.
and if I put my finger in it, it's go I'm going to transfer too much. Just kind of lay it on there. I think I got a little bit of the glue right in the corner of my eye. So it's stinging a little. that might ought to do it. Might. We'll have to see. I might get uppity and grab another brush and do something else too. Okay. Now. Little tiny brush. Bitty pencil brush. I'm going to take this shimmer in the sea color that's called ice. And see if that's going to work in there. And then I'm going to figure out which one I'm going to use to go under the lower. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups under the lower lashes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or as my aunt used to say, Excuse Hannah, she ain't got no manners. I hate hiccups. Alright, that ought to work. I didn't want something that was going to be too brilliant under there. I use there's another one in the um, diamond palette that's called ring and it's got kind of a gold kind of a taupey color with a gold in it and I'm going to run that under here just because as a starting point for what's going on the lower lashes. And I'll figure out what else I'm going to put under there. Yes, my nose is still being a problem. Which means y'all are going to get to see a bunch of jump cuts again. Okay. Got a mid-tone brown in the Nikki palette that's called Nila. I have no idea what most of these words mean. Even though I used to try and watch the Nikki Tutorials Dutch Word of the Day little bit of thing that she used to put on the end of some of the videos. And I thought it was kind of cool. to be 
learning at least a little bit of another language of somebody that I listen to a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. I think, I really do, don't start, I think I have done what I'm going to do with the regular paints, at least on the eyes. Put a little bit of brown under there on the waterline. We get the upper water line just a tad la 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 la, la. use one of these and normally what I use one of the dry ones I use a little bit of the Mehron mixing liquid to create the pool of liquid that I'm going to use for the hydrating of the of the liner yes yeah, sometimes I lose words I can think of them but I can't seem to get them out of the face it's really annoying Doodly doodly do. I'm going to see if mixing two. Gives me a little better line here. Oh man, the wind is really picking up. I'm doing that woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo howl outside the, the window. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll have to find out when I do the, the edit. It's the shaky hand thing again, trying to keep a little tiny fine line is not necessarily the way it's going to go. My 
my eyes blink when I don't want them to. And I've got shaky hands because of the fibro. It's almost like having the palsy, which is really annoying. It's like I don't want to be like my grandma and not be able to hold my hand still at all or have the head start going. That's no fun. Okay. I'm going to zhuzh up that little white spot a bit with a little bit of the little liquid I like uh, liquid shadow that I've got that's got kind of a shift to it. It's one of the e.l.f. liquids. And it's really kind of pretty. Got a white. Got a blue. I've got kind of a teal green. And I pretty well like them. It's got just a little bit of a shift which is plenty for me of course I can't read it the lettering on the label is too small for me to read even if I had on my glasses. See, little elf. There's my peacock, which is the green variant. Yeah, I know, I kind of promised I wasn't going to be in and out of the drawers. But, you know things happen. Somewhere in here I've got a dark blue. Anyway, this is the this is the goldy one with a little pink to it. I fell in love with the Stila kitten like this and then it went away. And I was not happy about it. I really wasn't. Not in the least. So I was thrilled when Elf came out with their variant. I wonder where that blue one went. Could be anywhere. Possibly the back of the drawer. Okay, I'm going to do a quick spritz on the eyes. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. Get that done. I tried to forget about my eyebrows. Now that's kind of silly. Nobody would be able to see the bloody things. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this either, but we've got one of our neighbors has got some chickens. And He's got some of the regular chickens that they now have that doesn't necessarily need a rooster. 
But then his wife wanted some of the fancy chickens. And that, if they're going to lay, they need a rooster. And this bird cannot tell time. He will crow day or night, regardless of the time. And it's like, dude, get a watch. There's a um, pretty little chickens that's got the feathery feet and such. Yeah, that's a little better. We can now see my eyebrows. Do a little spritz across here. Get that part done. Not too bad so far. I don't know. This one looks a little light compared to the other one. I might try and spoosh it up a little. Spoosh. I don't know where I come up with some of these cockeyed words. Like spoosh. What the hell is a spoosh? Well, apparently this is a spoosh. A little closer. Of course, if I keep doing the, uh... Here, let's go touch this one up, and then we'll have to come over here and touch this one up, and it's like... Uh, losing battle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so far, so good. Now, and I'm not seeing a bunch of fallout. So I'm going to get my little C color face palette out get to work on the rest of this mug. Because I need to finish it up. Now, they've got a matte bronzer and then they've got this really shiny bronzer. And I'm going, if I was going someplace where I was all dressed up and doing something fancy, I'd like maybe use the shimmer bronzer. It's kind of a topper over the matte one once I got the matte one laid out the way I liked it. But everyday wear? No. I don't think so. Especially not when I'm going to be going back in the kitchen to cook some more. It's like I talked my husband into doing a little bit of a pork roast that we got to do the main dish. Talked him into setting up the grill and now the weather's just being jerky. Jerky. And it's like, come on guys. It's like it was raining a little this morning and then it started to clear up and we said, yeah, we can use the grill and put the smoking chips in it and all that stuff. And it's 
and then we started getting all of this wind. Now it does look like the sun is attempting to come out, which is helpful, but yeah, I don't know so much. Put a little blush on. I'm impressed. So far, my phone hasn't done anything rude. See, I rather like some of the colors that's in this particular palette just because I'm going to put a little bit of the shimmer top, kind of a peachy, onto the blush. It's technically supposed to be a highlight, but I want to peachy up the blush just a little. Kind of goes better with that first color I put on. And it's like, I don't mind being a little shimmery with the blush. I'll even be shimmery with the bronzer if the day calls for it, or the event calls for it. I'm just going to be cooking. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is already made. I made my cranberry relish. But I put ginger and a little, some little tangerine segments. I know some people use orange juice and it's like, uh, I want chunky. Now, before I start really jazzing it up, I put, I pull out of the jelly, I pull out by doing, you know, the separator thing and keeping the fruit in one thing and the, just grab the liquid part of the gel. And I gel up the stuff that looks like it came in the can so that people like my chosen sister and my daughter-in-law can have a gift of homemade, but still looks like it should have been in a can, jelly of cranberry. Then once I get those pulled out, I throw everything else in the pot that's still got the berries and put all of the other chunky bits in there. And then I pull those out into jars and then I can them up so that I've got a fresh jar for Christmas and whatever else. So I've got three jars of the chunky and two jars of the just gel 
for the picky ones. Picky ones. Because there is some. Oh, no wonder I couldn't find that blue in the drawer. It was out of here. And I have discovered that the easiest way for me to get the eyelashes on, they're not on today, is I have to put them on first so that I can stick my finger on all this chicken skin and pull it up out the way so it's not all rumpled under the eyelashes. No rumple. Okay. I think this peachy color is going to work good for the lip. Let's see. Yeah, this is kind of a peachy gold color. This is one of their little elves. It's called Persimmon. Basic mat. Slides on easy. It sticks around. It's pretty good about staying put. Except when I eat, which is why I'm doing this now. I'm going to spritz again and then put my mascara on. Not looking too shabby. on this side with the highlight but once the once the setting spray is dry I'll just like dip in again and get a little more Okay, that looks a little closer than even because God knows I can't take it off of here. Now, I don't think I'm going to need to powder anything so the thing with I'm already set with my setting spray. I think we're going to be just fine. Now, let me get my mascara so I can get started with that. This is a Revlon Voluminous. And, okay, yeah, it's blue. I use it on the bottom lashes mostly. 
it's even more of a standout if I do a blue waterline. I just like the difference. I've actually got one that's a green, kind of an emeraldy green, but it doesn't work quite as well. And then I've got an elf blue, but the brush is so big. I mean, just hoogamongous. I could practically do three eyes at once. It's like I've got a holder for all of these mascaras. And I put this in the wrong holder. It was in with some of the other little fine brushes that I use for the inner corners and the liner and that kind of stuff. And yeah, I still have my black mascaras and I still have black lashes in the drawer. I will, depending on, you know, if it's some big fancy do or something, I'm just as likely to do the black as anything else. Whee! Yes, I have to make that face while I'm doing this. With my mouth hanging open and all that. If you were actually here, you'd have to just be thrilled that I brushed my teeth before I started. Because I had coffee really recently. And coffee breath is not something everyone is good with. And no, I don't normally curl my lashes, even though I've got lash curlers. Yes, I know I've got a little blob because this is one of those little pokey plastic things. And I usually managed to poke myself in the, eye, in the eye at least once. And once that little blob that's on right here dries a little more, I'll take a spoolie and flick it off. Alrighty. That's why I keep spoolies around, extra ones that haven't had anything put on them. So they're clean so I can do flick flick. Anyway, what you think? Let me know. Oh, by the way, hi out there. I noticed there's been a few new um, people that have subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. I hope you like having 
the fun time that we have here at the Fun House, because you can never tell what's going to happen around here. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to go back to cooking now. Remember, no bail money. Behave yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Keep your hopes up. Bye.